While the world is a vastly different place at the moment, many of the wealthy strive to remain in their normal lifestyle. As such, they've been splashing the cash to make their lockdown more bearable. Today we're going to look at some of the most expensive items and activities that the world's elite have been throwing their money at recently, especially when it comes to their rich kids that often fill social media with their luxurious lifestyle. You can expect to see cars, islands, and planes, among many more luxuries, so let's get started. In recent weeks, advice on wearing facial masks has grown. Many people now see the item as important in keeping safe when making a trip outside in public. Well, for some of the wealthy, a simple mask just won't do. They need something a little extra, something pricier. Take Instagram user Tahir Marasulov. In many of his recent posts, along with a lot of other designer-labeled items, he also dons a Louis Vuitton mask while exploring Paris in his car. The cost of such a mask obviously does not come cheap. For just one of these branded face masks, prices can be as much as $200. For comparison, disposable packs of 50 masks can cost around $30 online. Many other designer labels are now exploring the option of cashing in and making their own versions of face masks. Over in Nigeria, a group of celebs arrived at an awards ceremony in March with fashionable face masks. A lot of the masks worn at the ceremony were specifically designed for the elite there, making the cost of them far more expensive than the average mask. In March, news broke in Venezuela. As it turns out, many of the children belonging to wealthy families decided to ignore social distancing and instead have a massive party on a Caribbean island. They were discovered by musicians who went to the island in order to film a music video. Not long after the party, many of those attended tested positive for the virus. The majority of the Venezuelan public were furious. They were struggling through this time, yet they felt the elite were flaunting their privilege in their faces. The cost of such an endeavor is unknown. However, we've taken out our calculator to figure out a rough cost. The cost of renting a private island can vary from $500 per day all the way to $11,000 per day. Considering this island is in the Caribbean, it's likely to be on the higher end of those figures. Then the cost of renting a boat to get to the island. The price of loaning a small boat for a week can be $10,000, while a super yacht can be at least $150,000. Celebrities are known for splashing the cash on private planes when traveling across the globe. Well, since the outbreak, the use of renting private planes has increased significantly. The reasons are believed to be concerns with social distancing and the lack of regular commercial flights at this time. Certain routes across the globe being used by private planes are up 214% compared to this time last year. Many companies that rent out private planes are struggling to keep up with the demand. One person that's not struggling with getting private jet access is Instagram user Vadim Mashurov. He's been photographed various times on his private plane. Since he's also recently uploaded images from the Maldives, he's likely been using his plane to get some sun. The cost of buying a private plane can vary from $8,000 to $300,000 depending on the size. That's not even taking into account maintenance fees. However, purchasing a luxury plane is far more expensive. The Gulfstream G650 can be bought for $65 million, yet there are others that are valued at hundreds of millions. If there's one thing the rich always buy and collect, it's luxury cars. Not even quarantine and lockdown rules can stop them from buying expensive vehicles. Vialina Kulakova is one such person. Whilst in Dubai, she splashed the cash on a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon to get around the wealthy city. This car could cost $128,000 at its base form. Added extras can add further tens of thousands. Another wealthy spender is Sam Cavanaugh. He uploaded an image of himself on Instagram, taking advantage of the current low gas prices by filling up his hybrid car. The car is a BMW i8. It's valued at a base level of $147,000. Once again, adding thousands of dollars of extra features are added in. While Noemi Demeter currently has a Lamborghini in pink color within her collection, the cost of a Lamborghini can vary depending on the type. The average cost is said to be around $200,000. However, some of the more expensive models can go into the millions. The Veneno Roadster, for example, is worth a staggering 9.5 million dollars as quarantine measures began to sweep across various countries a number of the wealthy decided to leave their urban homes they relocated to their second more rural homes to escape large crowds one of which was gordon ramsay's family gordon and his wife tana took their five kids to their holiday home in cornwall england this massive house is worth a little over $5 million and comes with a private tennis court, among other features. Another family that moved to their second house is the Beckhams. David and Victoria Beckham took their four children to their $7.5 million house in Costwald, England. The house comes with a massive garden, tennis court, swimming pool, and spa.
Many U.S.-based elite have been going to South Carolina's Kiowa Island. Many houses there can cost up to $20 million. Not everybody is too happy by celebs using their second homes during this time. Many mayors in the U.S. and the U.K. have condemned the actions of the elite temporarily relocating, as from their perspective, it could cause the virus to spread in a smaller, more often older community. With lockdown in effect, people are struggling to keep themselves entertained. After all, there's only so much Netflix one can watch. Well, for the wealthy, they found their methods to keep themselves busy. Mirko Salvetti videoed himself enjoying a bottle of the luxury champagne brand Dom Perignon. With a vintage year of 2008, the price of a bottle can start at nearly $190. Since Salvetti regularly has images involving the branded champagne, he probably has a big selection of bottles at home. While Max Logan took a photo of his girlfriend, Lamborghini, and a swimming pool as he relaxes. The cost of an outside swimming pool can be as much as $195,000, with pool maintenance fees of around $6,000 per year. Drake also gave us a look at his stunning $100 million valued house in Toronto, Canada. During the music video, Tootsie Slide, we got to see how he keeps busy during this time with a private NBA-sized basketball court within his massive mansion, with some estimations stating that a full-sized court can cost $46,000 to build. Another item sought after by the uber-rich is a luxury boat. In February, just as the news began to trickle about the impending event, Yanni Resti uploaded an image on Instagram. The image shows her enjoying the benefits of a private yacht whilst in the Maldives waters. Another quarantine yachter is Masha Campbellin. She uploaded a photo on Instagram of herself on board a boat in Italy. Little is known about the boats that the two influencers are using. However, judging from other images, the boats seem to be of the luxury persuasion. The average cost of purchasing such a yacht is believed to be eight point four million dollars american businessman and film producer david geffen recently found himself in hot water with the public due to an ill-timed social media post he stated in the post that he was isolating on his super yacht near the grenadines in the caribbean waters he also uploaded images of the temporary boat home the average cost of a super yacht is around 275 million dollars however geffen's boat is said to be worth an incredible 590 million dollars in march news broke about king maha vijaralong corn of thailand as many of the countries across the globe began to take lockdown measures, King Maha decided to go into isolation in a very unusual way. He rented out the entire Grand Hotel Sonnenbeichel in the Bavarian Alps in Germany. He also took with him an entourage of 20 women, along with servants. The group was said to be a lot larger at over 100 people. However, many were denied entering the hotel due to possible health concerns. Social media erupted in anger at the news of the King's adventures. The exact cost of renting out the entire hotel is unknown. However, since it's a four-star luxury hotel with 99 rooms, it might easily cost millions with all the other fees involved. After all, his coronation parade is believed to have cost an astonishing $31 million. Others of Thailand's rich and famous have also been sending their children to hotels across the country, one of which was in Hua Hin, where many of the elite children decided to have parties. As a result, a number of the partygoers later developed symptoms. Many of us have considered escaping to a private island in recent events. However, the vast majority of us don't have the means to do so. Well, for the very wealthy, they can do just that. A number of countries have even set up resorts for the rich to escape from the world, costs of which vary, with many island resorts charging $13,000 per night to live the life of luxury. And that's not including food and other expenses. Richard Branson and his family don't have to worry about that. He owns a collection of islands already, one of which is Necker Island. There, he lives in a 10-bedroom mansion. Back in the 70s, Branson bought it for $180,000. Since then, he has spent millions to turn the island into a luxury resort. Recently, with Virgin Atlantic struggling financially, Branson attempted to use Necker Island as collateral for a government loan. Another island owner is Shakira. Her and Pink Floyd's Roger Waters spent $60 million on Bonds K. They had plans to turn it into a luxury hotel resort. Sometimes the rich don't like spending their money and instead hold on to it for long stretches. Some claim that's how the rich stay rich, but in a world ravaged by financial insecurity, sometimes uploading images of their money piles can be in bad taste. Other times they've been accused of being out of touch with the majority of the population. One such person is James Tyson. He posted a video online of a massive water container filled with dollar bills. Tyson then proceeded to squeeze a collection of $100 bills into the container. In the description, he states that this is the amount of money he has saved due to not eating out during quarantine. As for how much there is in that container, we have no idea. Pop your estimations in the comments below. Another image that's spread across social media is of an unknown rich kid with stacks of cash. He's also pretending one of the stacks is a telephone for some reason. He's dressed in a balaclava, which while it hides his identity, it also keeps him safe during this turbulent